Hello guys, this is Marco from Open Home Automation and in this video I will show you how to use Bluetooth to make a simple temperature and humidity sensor. So what we are going to use, that you can see on the picture, is uh, the Bluefoot EZLIN module from Adafruit. And actually you can use uh, other Bluetooth modules. As soon as uh, your module can transmit serial data, it will work without any problems. So we are going to connect this Bluetooth module to Arduino and use it to transmit data wirelessly to your computer. And on your computer, we will make a simple Python interface to uh, receive and display the data. So let's dive into the project. So as usual, I will start with the hardware configuration. And as you can see on the picture, you have already two scenes. Uh, you have the Arduino Uno board, but you can use any other Arduino board, of course, uh, on the left. And on the right, on the breadboard, I already put the Bluetooth module. And I powered the Bluetooth module with uh, the 5 volts coming from the Arduino board and the ground. So next step is to make the serial connections. And that's quite easy. You just have to connect uh, the transmit pin from the Bluetooth board, so it's TX to the receive pin on the Arduino board, um, which is named RS. And also otherwise, the Bluetooth RS goes to the Arduino TX. Now, we just need one more scene to connect to the Bluetooth board. Um, and this is if you want the Bluetooth board to be able to reprogram your Arduino board wirelessly. And that's pretty cool, because if you are doing some changes in your sketch, you can just upload a new program into your Arduino board and this even if the board is somewhere else in your house. So to do that, we will simply put a 10 microfarad capacitor uh, between um, the board DTR pin, which will send the reset signal to your Arduino and the Arduino reset pin. Next, we have the sensor part. So I just placed the DHT11 temperature humidity sensor on uh, the breadboard and connected it to uh, the power, so also 5 volts and ground. Of course, feel free to use any sensor of your choice. It will work as well uh, for this tutorial. And finally, I connected the signal pin, so uh, pin number 2 of the sensor to Arduino pin number 7 and also for this sensor you need uh, a resistor between the power supply and the signal pin so I just put a 4.7k ohm resistor between these two pins. So first we are going to see um, the code of the Arduino um, and it's really simple. So we just have to import the DHT library which will uh, be used to interface with the temperature humidity sensor then declare the pin, the type of the sensor, you can use DHT22, or, which is more precise, or 11. Uh, you can create the instance of the DHT sensor. Then in the setup function, we just start this DHT sensor and start the serial communication. And then the core of the sketch is to wait for serial commands from the computer. So what we will do in the uh, Python interface on the computer side is simply uh, send uh, a character which is M for measurement and this as you can see here will trigger um, a measurement to happen so temperature and humidity and as a result we will send back this data on the serial interface which will be directly transmitted back to the computer because uh, the serial interface on the Arduino board is directly connected to the Bluetooth module. So the second thing you have to do from the software point of view is create a graphical user interface on the computer using Python. So I just opened the Python file and I will use this module called tkinter from uh, which is integrated with Python that is used to create very simple uh, graphical user interfaces. I will also use this serial module that you have to download. The link is in the article. And this, as you can see here, 
will be used to establish the software uh, serial communication with um, the Bluetooth module. And this uh, screen here, you have to get it from the Arduino IDE uh, because it's specific to, to your module. And now I create a serial communication with the module. And once this is done, I have this main application class. And I will not go through all the details, but basically we have this measure uh, function that is continuously repeated every second, actually. And as we said before, it sends uh, data, this M character. And if data is coming back, it's splitting the data based on uh, the columns and it's basically displaying the temperature and the humidity based on the data it received from the Arduino board. And this is just some labels to display the data and at the end we just run this application. Okay, so now we will actually uh, use the code that we just written and make our Bluetooth temperature and humidity sensor work. So the first thing you have to do is to actually connect uh, to the Bluetooth module. So I just powered up my Arduino with the Bluetooth module on it and I will go to my Bluetooth preferences and turn Bluetooth on. So I'm using OS X obviously, but it will work from any computer like Windows or Linux. Uh, you just need to go to your Bluetooth uh, preferences. And uh, as you can see, I already have this Adafruit EZLint module. And I would just click. I just delete this one to show you how it's done from the start. And as you can see, it proposed a pair button that I will press. It says connecting. And after some seconds, yeah, it is connected. So now there is a link between my computer and the Bluetooth module. So now, back to the Arduino IDE, I will select um, the Arduino Uno board that I'm using. I will also uh, choose serial port. You can see that uh, the Bluetooth option is available. So I will use the last one as it is um, um, said in the Adafruit website. And now I'm basically ready to upload my sketch. And of course, I will do that using Bluetooth. So simply verify the sketch. It compiles and then I will just press upload as you will do if uh, the Arduino board was directly connected to your computer. I just press upload, uploading. So right now I can see that my Bluetooth board board is uh, blinking and receiving uh, the sketch. And now as you can see, it is done. And my sketch is completely on my Arduino board and all of this without actually having any table um, plugged from my computer to the Arduino board. Now we will test uh, the Python interface. So for that, I will just uh, open a terminal window. Okay, so now I'm in the correct folder for uh, my project and I will simply type Python sensor druid and it will execute the Python script. And this will start my graphical interface and as you can see, um, it directly displays the temperature and the humidity. So very simple interface. And if you actually could look at the, the Bluetooth board, you can see that every second it's blinking because it's receiving some command from the computer. So this is the end of this tutorial. Of course, you can use this project for many um, more complicated projects. So you can use other sensors. You can use, you can transmit data from many sensors in just one shot to your computer. You can also have uh, many of these modules connected to your computer. And 
basically you can build a whole home automation system based on Bluetooth. These devices are very easy to use as you can see in this tutorial, so you can just directly connect them to your laptop um, without having any web server running somewhere. And yeah, so feel free to, to use what you learned in this tutorial for, to do your own project and please uh, comment and share your project either here or on, on the Open Home Automation website. This is at openhomeautomation.net. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and browse the rest of our videos about home automation and open source hardware.